Hey guys, you know, when I got saved back in 1995, I remember I was driving home from work one morning and I was listening to um, the local Christian uh, station here in Los Angeles. And I was listening to a preacher go through the book of uh, 2 Peter, 2 Peter chapter 2. And he was discussing the false teachers and the false prophets um, spoken of in that, um, in that chapter. And in the midst of that, he began quoting a poll from 1987. And the poll had to do with the leaders in the church, um, the pastors, the seminarians, and people like that. Not the people sitting in the pews, but the leaders in the church. And it was just stunning what the pastor was, was reading. I mean, as I listened to it, I just realized that, um, that the men um, who, who uh, responded to the poll were nothing more than apostate, apostates. They were unbelievers. They simply did not believe in the Bible because they were rejecting all of the essentials of the Christian faith. The gentleman who conducted the poll was a sociologist by the name of um, Haddon, I believe Jeffrey Haddon. I know, um, I know absolutely nothing about him. I don't know if he was a believer or not. Um, I just, the only thing I know is that he was a um, sociologist at the University of um, Virginia. And he conducted this poll, and it was just stunning, as I said, when you, um, when you read the poll, because um, you realize that none of these people believe the Bible. He contacted, um, I believe it was 10,000 men, and over 7,500 of them responded. And, um, you know, just a couple of things, just a couple of uh, things that, he, um, that the poll uh, revealed. Um, first question, was Jesus virgin born? 60% of Methodists said no. 49% of Presbyterians said no, 44% of Episcopalians said no, and 19% of American Lutherans said no. Next question. Is Jesus the Son of God? 82% of Methodists said no, 81% of Presbyterians said no, 89% of Episcopalians said no, and 57% of American Lutherans said no. Next question. Was there a physical resurrection of Jesus? 51% of Methodists said no. 35% of Presbyterians said no. 30% of Episcopalians said no. 33% of Baptists said no. And 13% of American Lutherans said no. Next question. Is the Bible the inspired word of God? 95% of Episcopalians said no. 87% of Methodists said no. 82% of Presbyterians said no, 77% of American Lutherans said no, and 67% of American Baptists said no. And the next question, does Satan exist? 62% of Methodists said no, 47% of Presbyterians said no, 37% of Episcopalians said no, 33% of Baptists said no, and 14% of American Lutherans said no. Also, a few years after this poll was taken, a historian by the name of Marsden also um, conducted a poll, and he found that 85% um, of seminarians in one of the largest seminaries in America rejected the inerrancy of Scripture. 85% of seminarians in one of, um, in one of America's largest seminaries rejected in the inerrancy of Scripture. Um, if you want to know why Christianity has pretty much collapsed in America over the last 20 or 30 years. Just think about these polls, okay? The men standing behind the pulpits do not believe in the Bible. They do not believe in the essentials of the Christian faith. The men in our seminaries do not believe in the essentials of the Christian faith. And so unfortunately, these men are going out and they're teaching um, people sitting in the pews in our churches. And you wonder why so many people sitting in the pews don't believe the Bible, because their leaders, their teachers do not believe in the Bible. You know, um, about a month ago, I wrote a commentary. I wrote and I um, recorded a, a commentary on this very thing. I had no idea I was going to um, come in contact with this poll again. And um, it had to do with this very thing, you know. And I, um, one of the things I said in that commentary, which I will be uploading, uploading in the next couple of days or so, is the fact that if you listen to a preacher on a regular basis, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube or in a house church or in, in a regular church fellowship, I would strongly urge you to demand a statement of faith from them, okay? You want to know exactly what they believe and why they believe it. Because if they, don't, if they cannot provide you a statement of faith, 
it means that they're trying to hide hide uh, something from you okay they don't want you to know exactly what they believe and if they won't provide you a statement of faith you need to get out of there okay whatever fellowship you're in get out of there whatever person you're listening to on Facebook YouTube whatever stop listening to them because obviously they're trying to hide something from you all right you want to know exactly what they believe the people who are teaching you on a regular basis you need to know exactly what they believe do they believe in the Bible do they believe in the inerrancy of Scripture do they believe that Jesus Christ is a son of God that he's the only way to heaven do they believe in the literal um, virgin birth and literal resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ do they believe that he's coming back again okay someday all right you want to know that and you want them you want to hold their feet to the fire okay don't let them just give you um, these vague answers let them be very specific as to what they believe okay so demand a statement of faith from anyone who teaches you on a regular basis um, let me just end with you know Psalm 189 some sorry Psalm 119 verse 89 says forever O Lord thy word is settled in heaven and uh, verse 140 of Psalm 119 says thy word is very pure therefore thy servant loveth it the church is a wash in apostasy okay very few of us actually believe what the Bible says actually believe that the Bible is the in inspired inerrant word of the living God and as I said if you're listening to um, to anyone on a regular basis whether it's here on YouTube or Facebook or wherever demand a statement of faith okay because you don't want to start listening to someone and then find then find out later that they reject um, that Jesus Christ was virgin born that they reject that he's a son of God that they reject his literal and physical um, resurrection from the grave that they reject that he's coming back again someday that they reject the eternality of hell okay for all unbelievers um, and it just goes on and on and on all right so demand a statement of faith and um, again, this poll, um, it was stunning back in 1987, and um, if this was uh, back in 1987, I'd hate to see what, um, what the condition of the, of the church is today, and especially the men standing behind the pulpits, because um, it's only gone down. It hasn't gotten any better since 1987. It's only gone down, all right? So I would just strongly urge you to stick in this book, all right? Stick in the book. Um, keep your eyes in the book. Study meditate on the word of god and just believe every word that it says okay because the bible is the inspired and inerrant word of the living god all right you will not go wrong okay stick to the scriptures and instead of state instead of believing these liars behind the pulpits okay because most of these guys behind the pulpits and most of the men standing um, and teaching in our seminars simply don't believe the bible all right and you don't want to be sitting on the people like that all right so Keep in the Word of God, believe the Word of God, and um, just keep meditating on it, and you can't go wrong. All right? Take care, and God bless.